Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My challenge for this video is to make my version of uh, DIY spot welding under $20. Let's begin. Almost everyone has uh, a battery like this recycled from uh, lab from laptop and other devices. It's not uh, recommended to solder this with uh, heat. And that's why you need a spot welding machine to weld this. And I want to make a bigger battery with these small elements. And that's why I need a spot welding device. For this project, I bought this uh, device. It's, it's only these two bar, copper bars and the switch here. And when you press, will give, uh, will close this circuit and uh, we'll start, uh, we'll give current. I also, I bought this uh, solid state relay. If you want any details about this, you can uh, find a video about this uh, device explaining how it works. For a smart uh, control of this spot welding, I need a device like this to control time and current that I will use. And I decided that it's a simple, uh, simplest solution is to use, uh, use a solid state relay like this and I will make, uh, first of all, I will make, I will use uh, a recycled transformer from microwave oven. And you will see how I, uh, how I transform this for my need. Now you can see this transformer was more difficult than I expected to remove this uh, secondary part. I used 25 uh, square millimeters wire here. It was approximately 60 centimeters. This is the primary part and is, this is the thermal fuse. Now I will put uh, these connectors and I will make first test with this transformer. Now I've completed another stage. Initially I wanted to use this connector but this hole was too small and this hole was too big and that's why I made this connector from a copper pipe like this. I use flame and uh, solder paste and I welded these connectors. Now let's power this up. It takes uh, 4 amps and uh, 
70 watts power consumption with no load. Let's uh, check this. It's 4 amps. Now let's measure the output voltage. It's uh, 2 volts. 2.2 volts. Now let's put this load and measure the current. Now let's measure the current on the primary. Five amps. And now let's let's measure the current. On the secondary, I will move to 200 amps. I already did uh, 70 80 amps before this uh, break. It's not uh, warm. And until now, everything is good. Now I will put uh, this transformer in uh, this case and I will make the connection. And after that, I will connect this uh, S solid state relay to control the time. Now I've completed another stage of this project. Here you can see I put an insulator. So here I will put the output connectors for uh, welding. This is the connector for uh, on-off. I've mounted the solid state relay here and now I will make the connections. I will use this 5 volts and 1 amp power supply for this. 5 volts will uh, power this uh, relay and this uh, oscillator that I will make for uh, timing control of the welding. Now I've connected this 5 volts power supply, the su on off switch and uh, input to the relay. I connected the wires to this uh, device and now when I press this switch I forgot to turn on the power. I will mount a power LED but uh, it's not. So when I press this switch the relay powers on the transformer. Now let's make the first test. Now it's uh, on the maximum power because I've not mounted the time and the power adjust. Now it's working.
this is not good I have to put a proper plate like this I will put this closer Now I cannot find the perfect timing and it's not working. To adjust the time and the power of the welding, I made this simple circuit. It's made with a timer, this timer 555 in monostable configuration. Working it's very simple. When uh, you press this switch, this uh, trigger pin goes to the ground and then gives an output pulse depending of this value of this resistor and capacitor we have here the formula time is 1.1 multiplied by r and multiplied by, by capacity and for these values for 0.7 microfarads and uh, 10 kilo resistor and 100 kilo potentiometer. Here we have the value. It's between uh, 50 milliseconds and 600 milliseconds. We uh, see here 3 is the output pin of the timer and uh, when the output pin is high then uh, enter to plus uh, input of this solid state relay and uh, makes a short circuit here powers up the transformer and then we have uh, voltage here on the output now i will make this simple circuit let's begin now i made this circuit after this schematic i put uh, this led to output and now let's see how it's working I will put 5 volts and now when I press the switch maximum and minimum To the maximum it's uh, two seconds approximately but uh, it should be 
60 milliseconds, 600 milliseconds. I will measure on the oscilloscope. I measure this potentiometer and uh, resistor and the values are good. I presume that the problem is with this capacitor. I measure this capacitor and the value seems good. But uh, I have to, I will test on the oscilloscope and uh, I will replace it after. I use the oscilloscope to measure the timing of the minimum time pulse and it's uh, 58 milliseconds. Now let's measure for the maximum time period pulse. So it's approximately 600 milliseconds. These values are exactly what uh, gives us this formula. Now I will put this uh, this module inside and uh, let's see how it's working. So I put the timer, a time adjust potentiometer and the power LED. It's here. Now let's make some tests. Power LED is on. I didn't put a on off switch because when it's not in use it's not taking power. I'll put time adjust to the minimum. It's not welding. I will increase time. It's not welding, I will increase more. It's not welding, let's increase more. It's not welding. I'll increase. Now let's try again. Now it's welded. Let's make another t clean test.
that's not so good as I expected. Now let's try with the battery. It's not working. Time is almost to the maximum. I think that the power is not strong enough. And I think that I made a mistake. This one is 35 square millimeters. And this one is only under 10 square millimeters. And I believe that there is a power loss on these uh, cables. I put this to be easy to use and flexible but I have to replace this or double this. Now I have double wires from a box to this uh, X and now let's see what happened. I will put time adjust to minimum. And now let's see if it's a difference. It's not enough. Not. 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 Now it's good. Let's try on the other side. It's good. It's strong. You have to try different uh, time and uh, distance between these peaks. If you want to get the uh, best results. I made a lot of tests and now it's working good. And uh, I have to tell you that I managed to solve the challenge. I made this under 20 USDs. Most expenses was this uh, device and this uh, relay, SSR, solid state relay. And uh, all the rest were salvage from uh, scraps. Now I will make a power bank from these uh, batteries. I have a lot of this from uh, all the laptop batteries and I tested and uh, a part of them are good. Please uh, write a message and tell me if you like this project and what we can do to improve this. If you made it so far, please give a big like. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.